Today on Logan Lee Adventures. Today in Hong Kong, I'm reunited with my friend Steph. We were just traveling Indonesia a few days ago and a few videos ago, but now she's back. Steph is a Hong Kong local, one who grew up in Australia, went to school in America, and now lives in Boston. But her family and roots are from here, and she's gonna be taking me around town to her favorite local spots. The menu. I'm ready for my enlightenment. <laughs> hey guys, so guess who's back from Indonesia? We're back. In my homeland. Yes, we're in. She's wrapping HK. Well, nobody calls it HK. HK, so. no one. But okay, but like through text, people like text. Hong. Yeah, because you don't text like all of like Hong Kong. You know? Okay, so why can't? Why do you have to say Hong Kong like fully? It's the same. Like KL. Because uh, Kuala Lumpur is like a little bit harder. I guess it's like a little bit harder to say because it's like more similar. Yeah. Hong Kong is the same thing. Yeah. It doesn't really Yeah, matter. okay, it's true. <laughs> Anyways, we're in Hong Kong together and we're at the legendary cheapest, or at least one point in the world where it was the cheapest Michelin star restaurant. Team Hong One. Team Hong One. Uh, it's a ridiculous line, as you can see. Yeah. Pretty good already compared to the past. Oh, really? I've waited for more than an hour and a half. How many times have you been here? <laughs> okay. Seven, eight? Okay. Less than ten. Less than ten? I love how that's so casual. It's not, like, it's not a big deal though. It's like, so common to come here. Everyone comes here. Well, it's my first time, so I'm really excited to collect another star to my collection. Look at all that juicy goodness. Hong Kong and dim sum goes together like Italy and pasta, Vietnam and pho. You can't just have it once, nor should you limit it to just a certain time of day. It's a gathering of friends, family, it's a way to spend the weekend, it's breakfast but also dinner. It's dim sum. After a morning dim sum, we hopped onto Hong Kong's double-decker trams, an iconic image of the city. These were the earliest forms of the public transport in the metropolis, dating back to the city's colonial period. Our double-decker tram ride dropped us off at the oldest surviving market building in Hong Kong, the Western Market. Textile vendors were driven off nearby streets in the 1990s and moved into this renovated market building that, for an architecture nerd in me, is in love with the Edwardian's features. We ended up getting desserts nearby, mango and matcha, two awesome M's in one bowl, and another bowl of steamed sesame balls served in a sweet soup made with fresh ginger and rock sugar. Equally light, chewy, and rich, with each warm bite, the gingery syrup, chewy dough, and nutty sesame fillings blend together phenomenally. The Manmo Temple is the oldest and certainly one of the most revered temples in Hong Kong. I think this is such an underrated place in the metropolis, one that is often overlooked because it's in plain sight, yet easy to just walk by. The smell of incense and the lingering smoke creates this mystical ambiance which most people are captivated by. It certainly for me has this tranquil atmosphere between the locals praying at the altars in contrast to how we're smack middle of central, the downtown neighborhood. Even just how the light filters through the incense rings hanging from the ceilings has a charm of its own. Let's, so let's try these. I used to have these in Toronto, but I feel like Hong Kong adds more legitimacy to it. These are fish balls, like, like curry sauce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're really hot. <laughs> So good. I'm messy. Look at that. That's a huge 
huge bowl. Like 20 of With over 100 stalls of bargain clothing, accessories, souvenirs, the Lady Markets on Tung Choi Street provides a one kilometer stretch of where you can practice your haggling skills. Or for me and Steph, just an excuse to walk off our calories in between our glutinous exploration. Because it's so hot and humid in Hong Kong, as always, we got some, what is this? Some traditional egg waffles. Egg waffles, yeah. Mango ice cream. And I think it's vanilla on top of it. Look, yum. And it's made of green tea as well. Like a green tea batter. Is there anything more wider, more beautiful than Hong Kong at night? I just feel so lost in translation, being absorbed into this city energy, a city that is fast becoming one of my favorite cities in the world. Continuing on our little foodie adventure of Hong Kong. That's basically what we've just been eating and doing all day. Like meals of a... Yeah. Like something. We have, what is this? It's barbecue... Barbecue pork. Barbecue pork. Or oh, tasu in Cantonese. And then we have Chinese broccoli. And then we have... This is a papaya soup. Kind of like pork and... Some other Chinese <laughs> stuff that I don't really know. It looks good. <laughs> so we're gonna dig into meal number five for the day. <laughs> I'm completely stuffed. So to end the night, we are going to take the star. Because yeah, it's got the star ferry. Um, it's just like another means of transfer between Central and Cal. Boarding the ferry now. Thanks guys for exploring Hong Kong with me and a true local. Give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below and hit subscribe for more adventures. I'll catch you in the next one.